Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Slade by Nico here. You know your Caribbean every way. Guys, and I'm just here with my beautiful model. I'm priming her eyelids, making sure that we have a proper canvas for our eyeshadow. I'm going in with a plum shade from the Beauty Glaze palette, and I'm carrying that into her inner corner, her outer corner, my mistake. And we're not carrying that all the way to her inner corner. And we're just keeping that right there in her crease and I'm making sure that I have enough pigmentation that I am looking for I'm going to head on right now to blend out that same plum shade with a pink from the palette and I'm using a very tapered brush um, guys I have a lot of no name brushes I don't use a lot of big brand name brushes to get the you know the look that I'm looking for I think that if you go out and you look for brushes you would find what you're looking for it doesn't have to be like any big Morphe brush or anything like that nothing is wrong with them but the no name brushes do the trick also so I'm here making sure that I keep my negative space clean and I'm just cleaning up every all the colors and stuff I'm making sure that I have a proper blend I'm here now going in with a flat brush on her eyelid itself and I'm just applying some concealer guys and I want a smooth seamless look I'm not going for a cut crease this is more of a fade out cut crease I don't want to have the sharpness of a cut crease but also the look of a cut crease if you understand what I'm saying so I'm just making sure that I have that concealer laid well and I'm now I'm going in with a Sasha pigment it's a kind of lilacish color lilac lilacish is not, not even a word but lord here a lilac color and I'm just applying that there and making sure that we have the pigmentation that we want and I'm also going to just deepen up and make sure that everything is cleaned up well so that we have that beautiful color and make sure we put some depth into it so I'm going straight into foundation after this I did her um, her right eye off cam and I'm going with a foundation from Elegil I believe and I just apply that foundation all over her skin I primed her skin and stuff off cam right and um apply apply her concealer also of gum oh i had done some editing already okay nicole yeah making joke get them so i'm using a real technique sponge and i'm blending out that concealer and as soon as i blend out the concealer guys i applied um loose powder you know and I'm going in right now with some banana powder from Sasha all over her skin and I'm not putting it heavy but where I am right now I am baking her face though and with this bake I'm just like lightly touching her face I'm not putting it heavy and I'm going straight into contouring her nose guys contour is everything and I didn't want to do too much of contour on her because you know she still has a kind of baby face so I don't want to spoil that so guys I did do uh, you know a kind of blinding highlight later on but you will see what I'm speaking about because I did a lot of blush also but this contour I'm just trying to make sure that we have the right pigmentation not too dark and not too light just enough so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm making sure that we have the, you know, the color that we're looking for. And I'm using that same contour brush to get rid of all that baking powder. That's just so that the skin wouldn't look like too much of like a two color something, but just look like one, you know, with just highlights and whatnot. So guys, I'm contouring her hairline and making sure that we bring that warmth back into her face. Guys, I'm, I'm to do a voiceover is so much trouble in this movie 
Anyways, I'm just taking that blush color and making sure that we give, you know, I want it to do like a blinding blush. So yes. Guys, off calm I added some black into her waterline. I forgot to put that in. But I'm taking the colors that we applied in her eyeshadow and I'm just bringing them beneath her eyes and making sure that we have that nice gradient and making sure that the blend is neat and not too much so yeah I'm going straight into lipstick and I'm just applying a matte lipstick a nice nude lipstick and I'm gonna place a white in between and you know just blend it out so it doesn't look so white but like a nice light pink and I'm also going to take some lip gloss and just go over the lips and make sure that we have that glossiness that we like. You know, like I, I believe this is like an angel lip. Like, if you're not doing an angel lip, then something wrong with you. So I'm just cutting and making sure that that's neat. And you know, neatness is everything over here at my channel, y'all. And I'm going with some Sasha Fix It spray. I applied lashes off cam, guys. And that is it for my tutorial. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not it. <laughs> guys, this highlighter, I'm applying a highlight. But, guys, I forgot why I bought the highlight. So, if you see this highlight and you recognize it and you remember where, could you guys like, leave a comment and just tell me where I could get another one of this highlight? Please, I need one. So I'm just making sure that I do my final touches, guys. And this was the moment. Look at that beauty. Guys, thank you for watching. And please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys.